Okay, in this video I'm going to uh, show you how to put together a GPS tracker that can be used for your car, your boat or your caravan. Um, what I'm using is an old mobile phone, an Android phone, and some uh, electronics that I bought off eBay. Now I had previously bought a vehicle tracker off eBay, one of these cheap Chinese things that found it totally useless. Um, the instructions are in Chinese English, very difficult to make head or tail of. I, com I complained to the seller who sent me some better English instructions, but basically um, this is not a very accurate tracker and it's difficult to use. You've got to send SMSs from your phone and remember codes and things to, to make it work. I couldn't get it working, and uh, you know, for a handful of uh, dollars, uh, you can make up one of these and uh, just use your Android device manager, or if you're using an I old iPhone, uh, find my iPhone, and, the, and those apps will give you an accurate GPS point on Google Maps. Okay, so what do you need to, to build this setup? Well, firstly, you'll need an old Android phone or an iPhone. This is an old Android phone. The uh, charge cable for it with the USB uh, connection. A programmable 12-volt uh, timer. You can get these off uh, eBay quite cheap. They're about 15 or 16 dollars. And that'll be used to uh, just program in an hour per day charge time for the phone so that you're not running the battery down on your car, your boat, or your caravan. The next thing you'll need is a um, 12 volt to 5 volt converter with a USB connection, and that'll be wired up to the timer, and uh, you'll plug your phone into that. A little bit of cable. The length of the cable will have to suit wherever you choose to uh, hide the phone and the, and the gadgets and be long enough to go to your car battery or, or the caravan or boat battery. A couple of small cable ties just to clip everything together and make it nice and neat. Four uh, female spade connectors for the wire, a pair of cutters, a prepping tool for the spade bits, and um, I also use a wire stripper to prepare the wire for putting on the new bits. And that's all you really need. So for about, well depending on, the, on where you get the phone, it's a very cheap setup. Uh, I've already put one of these in my caravan about six months ago. And, uh, at that time, I bought a cheap ZTE Android phone that was going out on sale at Officeworks. It cost me less than $100. So, for about $120, I've had a setup in my caravan for six months. And uh, you can just dial in through Android uh, Device Manager on, on your phone and it will accurately tell me where my caravan is uh, and, and put that GPS point on a Google map. It's a very cheap setup. You know, for under, a, under $120, I'm protecting my $25,000 caravan. If it gets stolen, I'll be able to locate it fairly quickly. Okay, when you look at the back of the programmable timer, you'll see there's some indications here of what the terminals mean. So on one side is the power uh, to the control box, and on the other side is the switch. So the way you wire it up is to, uh, and I've got one here that I wired up previously, is that um, you have the power coming in. So 
So what you've got is here's the power coming in, jumping a positive across to the switch, out through the switch to the converter, and then the negative back to the negative polarity on the incoming line. So that's the correct way to wire up this programmable timer. And um, that's where you need the, the four spades. I put a little bit of heat shrink on the on one of these to, to make sure it was nice and clear which was the negative and which was the positive. You don't have to do that. Once they're plugged in, they're plugged in, that's it. Okay, so just showing you how to, uh, to do the cabling on this. Uh, one of these cables has a white stripe down the side of it. I'll use that as a positive polarity and um, strip a little bit of wire out along the way there. Pull that out a little bit. Strip the piece off the end. So I've got some bare, some open on the positive and the negative. I'll just take the end off this and that's ready for, for the crimps. To do the similar thing on the uh, converter. So this is the positive coming in. Create the jump. on the wiring layout, the two negatives from the converter and from the input go together. That one. Put that up. And then finally, just a crimp on the red from the converter. Remember it's important to keep the polarity correct. And essentially that's ready to go. So positive in, the jump across to the switch, negative in, negative to the converter, and the switch, positive out to the converter. And you go on the back of this. That's the input. And it has positive and negative marks on it. So you put that on the positive. Jump across to the switch. Take it out to the converter. And put the negative on the control. Input. There we have it, wired up, ready to go, just a matter of now plugging in your USB charge line to your phone, plug the phone in, okay, and the final thing to do is to uh, is to neaten this up a little bit. So what I what I 
you have done with the other ones I've made is I've put the little converter box up the top here, used a couple of little cable ties. and neat. Give it a nice neat little package there. That. Uh, coil these up and cable tie it all into a nice neat package to hide in your car, your boat or your caravan somewhere. Okay, you probably put this behind the glove box. Then it's just a matter of running your cable out to your battery or to some place where you can pick up a permanent power supply. Don't forget on to put a uh, two amp fuse in the line to protect all the circuitry. And um, once you've done that and installed it in your, uh, in your vehicle, boat or caravan, it's simply a matter of uh, setting up this as a, uh, an Android, Google Android device. I won't uh, go into how you do that. There's plenty of videos on YouTube and how to do that. And then you're able to, uh, at any time you want to, pick up another phone, go into Android Device Manager, and it'll immediately show you on a map where this, where this all is. Uh, if you use an iPhone, just use find my iPhone and it will do exactly the same thing. So there you go, a nice neat package, timer to make sure you don't run your battery down in your vehicle or your boat or your caravan. And even if you buy this as a cheap um, outgoing model LTE phone for instance, the whole package is $120. Very cheap insurance for your vehicle when you buy your caravan. Okay, the last thing you've got to think about before you install it uh, is what sort of SIM card to get. Um, the uh, device will be sitting around, only ever be used when you contact it for uh, the locations from Android Device Manager. Um, and so what you want is a prepaid with the longest expiry period that you can find. Now, at the moment I've found that the Aldi uh, mobile prepaid has an expiry of 365 days. It's one of the longest ones out there. And for five dollars, um, it's it's probably the cheapest option at the moment. So the one in the caravan, I've uh, used the Aldi Mobile prepaid. I put an extra ten dollars on it just to be safe, and uh, I'm getting a year's worth of protection before I have to top up the, uh, the prepaid again.